Hi everyone, John kx 4 here. I wanted to introduce you to the SDRHU capability for doing time difference of arrival TDOA geolocation technique based on how several different receivers hear it. So I've picked the W, what is this? WPTF out of Cary, North Carolina, which is just west of Raleigh, North Carolina on 680 kilohertz on the AM band. I can hear this signal all the way up in Northern Virginia during my commutes. Uh, it's weak sometimes, strong in others, but I can always hear it. So it's a fairly clear channel, I know that. So let's go to SDR.HU. I'm going to pick my friend's SDR to start with. Out of here, Warrington, Virginia, just a little bit southwest of Washington, D.C. I believe we're already tuned to 680 kilohertz from the previous time I was on here. And sure enough, there's a signal there. I don't know why we only see half of it here. Oh, I see. It's because of a channel problem. But that shouldn't hamper what we're trying to do. So let's try this. Let's engage the TDOA technique by going over to this extension pull-down menu and select TDOA. And then we're presented with a map of all the various stations and these pop-out lollipop uh, things to uh, zoom in. So let's go to North America. Any proper TDOA technique requires a complicated signal as opposed to a continuous wave. It won't work on continuous wave. So it needs some random modulation that it can correlate in time. And an AM broadcast with voice and music is perfect for this. So we see we've got some signals here. The key to TDOA is to try to surround your candidate area with a uh, number of stations. So we're going to pick one from the uh, west, K4LED. And that gets populated right here, and everything's green and good. That means it has a GPS that works. Timing is absolutely critical to make this work. So that's good. Let's pick uh, my friend's SDR. It's important to note, apparently, that just because you've tuned in initially to one, that doesn't mean they are automatically in the list. So now I've picked three around North Carolina, and we have it tuned to 680 kilohertz. Now we merely hit Submit. And now all three SDRs are recording data. I believe this takes about 30 seconds, plus or minus. They are all GPS locked, so the data is completely synchronized. And again, you must have a signal that varies randomly over time for this system to work. We're about done. And now it'll go to the phase where it's starting to do the algorithm, a TDOA algorithm on the three samples that were taken. And lo and behold, we have an ellipse. Let's see where it put it. A little bit west of the actual location, but in the big scheme of things, that's pretty darn good. And if you were to rerun this several times, you'd probably see this ellipse move around a little bit. But for nighttime propagation, I would call this a complete victory and very impressive and free. It wasn't too long ago that this would cost a lot of money to do with very serious gear. And now we're doing it basically free online with volunteer equipment proffered up by a variety of people who have paid some good money for these receivers. I think they're a few hundred bucks a piece and put them online for our use. And this centralized system can make use of them in an array for TDOA calculation. Quite impressive. This is John KX4O. Give it a shot.